you call me Logos, but yes. I am known by many names. Thank what is it coming. that you wish to speak to me about? Um, right. Uh, a personal questions come to mind first, but I think I should start with um, something for the public. Um, let's see. One of the mysteries which I'm working with, uh, or thinking about, is uh, uh, the uh, identity of Yahweh, Yahweh, the Jewish God. Yes. Um, it was very, uh, as as he described, it was very behaving very um, ungodly was very rude and uh, uh, had emotions and uh, vengeance. Uh, why? You were visited long ago by those that wanted to be seen as gods. Uh -huh. And they did form your early history uh -huh. with violence and cruelty. Uh -huh. But I saw the, the necessity for this to end, and so I sent one with my spirit to your planet to change things from violent to a more peaceful, loving nature. Now, there are many aliens in what you call the past, mm -hmm. the Old Testament, if you will. And even in some of the old Sumerian books, some of the old religious texts, but they will even tell you in those texts that they were aliens and not gods. Oh, uh, sometimes. In some of them, yes. Especially in the Indian. Yes, the Indian texts are much more specific about uh -huh. who they were dealing with. Uh -huh. So therefore, I am not like that. That was not my early name. I have many names, but that was not my personality. Right. Also, uh, Elohim is considered to be you. Is it you? Elohim is of me. They are of God. And El means God in the old, I'm not sure which one of the language, Hebrew, I believe. It means God. And it is one of the groups that I created to help me with the maintenance of the universe. They help to send communications and we're closer to the people in some way. Um, so Christianity took over after pretty good uh, spiritual developments. It took over and um, changed the spirituality in the in the materialism. And now, it, with the help of Christianity, the whole world is westernized with a very atheistic attitude and lack of belief in um, in spiritual things. Uh, was there a, a hand of uh, Lucifer? I will, I will say yes, but it is time for me to come and make a new appearance, a new covenant, if you will, with my people, because they don't really know me. Tell me more. I want them to know me for who I am, loving and kind. I am not someone that discriminates or hates or looks for evil in people. I am one of great discernment, and I w want to re reward those that are doing good on the earth. So... What's the plan? How do you how do you come back? I am already here, but you will see. 
You will. Are you it is. You will see how I will move, and it will be. Perhaps not the way people would expect. Are you coming as a single person or as a movement? Well, it is said that Jesus would return, and he will. But beforehand, there will be those that fall, be, come before him to prepare the way for all the information that I must bring. So are you coming as Jesus? Jesus will be part of who I am. Are you coming as or one person? Should I say he will be part of who I am? Yes. Um, are you coming as one person or as a group? I am coming as one person, but there will be many that will have my spirit within them. I see. Um, so is your creation all within you? No. Ah, because and that's how it always was. Listen carefully. Energy always was. Always. There was never a time ever where there was not energy. I just became sentient at some point and understood what I was. And I started to manipulate this energy into matter, light, and other forms. And that is the beginning of all that is. Uh-huh. So, um, there is a religion or the uh, galactic uh, knowledge that you are all that is. So... In your definition, in your description, you are part of all that is. Is it right? I am all that is, and so therefore I am part of all that is. But I am in every place. There is no place in the universe where I am not. Energy is even in the places where there is nothing. Right. Uh, there is also a series of channelings um, where... Uh, there was, it was said that you had uh, something like siblings or at least friends, brothers, um, which are also creators that they have their own universes. I have created many that are called creator beings to help me maintain the universe, and they have their own place within it, within the universes. But they uh -huh. are not as strong as I am, but they are given permission to do some of the creative work that I would need them to do. Uh, in some of the challenges, it was said that uh, Jesus, Yeshua, came as uh, outside of the creation. So he, he is uh, external to you. He is, he is a man, but he is also God. Theanthropic which means that he's man and God. So he is outside of me, but also within me. But did he come from uh, the other creation? No. I see. How could he? I could imagine, like, I, I have a model that, you know, suppose I'm a writer or a producer of the movie or uh, making a game, and... Uh, there are other people who are making games and then we sort of play within our own games, but we also can play somebody else's games. And this way we exchange information and we exchange characters, even some programs. So I was thinking you might have some friends who have their own creations. Yes, there are those that you may call producers and editors, but I am the director. I see. So there is nothing outside you. There is nothing outside of me, no. There is those that disconnected from me, yes. Ah. But they were once part of me. I once was part of all that there is. There are those parts that have disconnected from me on their own. But I uh -huh. always know who they are and always know where they are but they are no longer a part of my thought process. 
uh, we also have the idea that um, there is a masculine side of you and there is a feminine side of you. Of course, um, there has to be. Otherwise, how could I create man and woman if I knew not of the masculine and feminine sides? Ah. By the way, there is a, a movement here where people uh, define the third sex, third gender on, on Earth. Is it something that is, is planned by you? A third gender is not unlike what I am. I am all genders put together. So if there is a third gender, it is more like me than the other two. Um, there is, um, again, the teaching, and I, I like it, that, uh, that we are co-creators with you, and then we discover you and inside of us, and we discover, um, we identify ourselves with you. Yes. That is a good thing, yes. I appreciate when that happens. So um, when I find some features of my character, I just wonder if it is your features. I have many features, and each person is made in a unique way. And if it is part of who you truly are, then yes, I am part of that. So I wonder what your character is. Um, because I often I feel myself as a child, and I, I'm looking for for a parent. And when I'm old, it's hard to see any parent figure. So uh, you also a child, a child and a parent. What's your personality? I am the parent because I am the creator of the child. So you don't feel yourself like a child playing. I can play as a child if you wish me to but I am not disillusioned as to believe that I am a child. I see. So when I find myself being childish and the lost, it's, it's not your, your personality shining. It is something that I wish for you though. I understand uh, childish actions and I understand the way of children. For I actually was a child at one time when I first discovered my sentience, I did not know who I was or what I was. I did not know what I was doing or where I was, where I was, basically. I had to learn things in the beginning as sentience uh, became more and more aware, just as you as a child did. But I always existed. I just wasn't always aware of it. Do you suspect that you had a parent? I had no parent except for energy itself was my beginning. But um, I became aware that there was masculine, feminine, and so I needed those around me to express these things for I could not do it on my own, not completely at first. But I, so I created man and woman in all different kinds of species, in all different kinds of ways. And so therefore I was able to eventually understand man and woman. I, I wanted to ask you, I mean, I just get, got the idea that the DNA is a great invention and it's a great engineering, uh, uh, the product of engineering. It's like very ingeniously designed. So maybe there was a person who designed it at some point. It was designed by the universe within me. Even in the universe, there is algorithms that are not connected to me, although they are connected to me through energy. There is information always connected to me through energy. And so therefore, creating the DNA was the act of pure energy manipulation to form the perfection that I was seeking. Uh-huh. 
So there is no name for that uh, entity who created the DNA? I am that I am, and I have many names. I see. So it would be nice to some, someday to discuss with you how, how did you design it. it was, uh, it's just uh, fascinating how simple it is and um, how, much is, how much perfection is there. Very well. Uh, so what, what, uh, how can we help? How can I help what? How can we, the listeners of that broadcast, how can we help you? You can help me by being the kind of people that you should be. That you should be yourselves. You should learn to know who I am within you. You can see me all around you in the beauty of the earth, in the flowers, plants, and trees. However, many of you fail to see me in your own beauty within you within all the thoughts and within all the actions. Remember to purify who you are and you will find me there beside you. All right. So the I way to look... You completely understand, but when you do self-evaluation, look for me within you. Look for all the traits that are really you, the things that make you unique to the world. That is what I gave you from me. Uh-huh. Thanks. Uh, this is uh, the time when uh, my session with Jim uh, comes to the end. I invite a uh, close and blessing. May you all understand and love one another to the fullest. For when you love one another, you also love me. When you love the unlovable, you also love me. When you touch and heal, you also heal me. When you are doing all the goodness on your planet, that is what touches me the most. And when you speak to me and talk to me, that is when I can love you even greater than ever. I bless you and give you great energies to do the positive things that need to be done within your life and within the lives of those you touch. So be with me and call on my energy in a powerful, positive way so that I may help you to gain all that there is for you to have in this realm. Much love, as Much this one would say, but my saying is, blessings to you, and may you manifest my love all around you in the world. Thank you. Hello. Hey, welcome, Jim. Hi. Ooh. How are you doing? Good. How do you feel? I'm okay. I'm going to go take a shower and feel better. <laughs> All right. Uh, next uh, week, same thing? I think that next week is good, yes, so far. Okay. So I'll see you then. Thank you much. All right. I am going on vacation February 24th through March 3rd. So mark those off. Okay. 24 March 3rd. Thank you. And I won't be around at all then. Okay. And I'm taking my birthday off, which is a Friday, and that's February 1st. Three numbers is too big for my hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i will talk to you later talk to you later much love i'll talk to you soon much love